There was even an Eldarian cruiser here. I don't mean to sound arrogant, but... We'd never allow something like those insects to wreak so much destruction. Faze. I'm sorry, Faze. We were only thinking about ourselves. You had friends here, too. It's quite all right. In any case, we have more important things to do now than mourn. Let's take care of those first. True. Are you okay, Raimi? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say I'm exactly okay, but I'll be all right. Ew! What's that sound? Raimi, doesn't it look like... Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. It's actually very similar to our own SRF ships. But repainting his ship jet black? That's not quite Crow style. Yeah, it's not the Aquila. The basic frame is quite similar to the Kalnus. However, judging from this sound, it uses an unfamiliar propulsion system. It resembles the Calvis, but it is different. Could it be? The Phantoms? Phantoms? What are those? I suppose you wouldn't know, nor should you. It's something that's still under investigation on EN2, and it goes without saying. A man who wanders around space forgetting his regular reports to headquarters wouldn't know either. It's a fairly recent development. An unidentified group bent on destruction has been appearing here and there in space. Bent on... destruction? Who or what they are, why they operate, all unknowns. They show up on one planet after another, infesting them and annihilating everything, completely and without mercy. Also, it's said they arrive on ominous black ships. What could that mean? EN2's forces have begun to try and subjugate them. But no matter how many are defeated, more keep appearing. They come from nowhere, almost as if they were ghosts. That's why we refer to them as phantoms, just to have something to call them. Phantoms? They are unidentified, after all. A phantom that looks like an Earth ship, that's not out of the realm of possibility. <sighs> Besides, wouldn't all the pieces fit together if that ship turned out to be a phantom? So what you're saying is... They destroyed this base. Earthlings. Eldarians. Everyone. All the perfectly innocent people here. Our friends! It seems to have landed along the southern coast. What shall we do, Mr. Edge? What do you think? They've already made that decision for us. Let's move, people! What the...? Just as I heard. Compared to the originals, Phantom ships are uniquely specialized for combat. If that ship really did attack the exploration base... Yeah. Then that definitely makes them our enemy. An enemy... that we have to take down! <gasps> SRF uniforms! This cannot be! My sensors show no life signs. Didn't I tell you? They materialize like ghosts. Rely too much on your machines and you'll get burned, Bacchus. Who are you people? Answer me! Are you the ones responsible for attacking the base? What 
just happened? Were they silicon? They looked human enough. They take the form of people, but aren't even living creatures. What could they possibly be? I'm all for leisurely analysis, but you might want to take a look around. They're coming! <sighs> One thing after another with these freaks. I like attention. This is too much. There's even more, Kay. What's going on? Question. That's an Eldarian ship. Him. Th that's. from the 13th Independent Armored Division. Aramat. Mr. Crow, I see you made it to EN2 safely. Thanks for your help on Cardianon, Bacchus. Yo, Edge. Raimi. Long time no see, huh? You bastard, I thought you got yourself killed. Crow. <laughs> S stop Just stand aside, boy. Unless you have a desire to get caught up in this. 
Have we... met somewhere before? I'm not the type to forget a pretty face. <laughs> Finally. Finally. <laughs> I knew staying with the boy was the right choice. I never imagined I'd find you so quickly. My Stop! Mortal this is some enemy. kind of misunderstanding! You may have forgotten me, but oh, I remember you. Your face hasn't been out of my mind for even a moment! At last, here and now, my beloved shall be avenged! Muria! Muria? Could it be? Miria! Miria! Kill you! I will kill you! I'm sorry, Muria. Can you just listen to me for a minute? Let go! Let go of it! I have something for you, from Lucian Tianesis. Uh, how do you know Lucian's name? We shot the warship down. It's safe. The enemies are gone. You people saved me? Lucian! Lucian left a message before he died. Please, I want you to hear it. Many thanks. What are you saying? Hey! This ship is from Earth! We're not your enemies! It's all right! I am of the Morphous. My name is Lucian Tianesis. <gasps> Damn it! I can't understand you! Your ship is finished! You have to get out of there! Brave man. 
and the hope that my words will someday be passed on, I leave this message with you. I pray that you will one day be able to deliver this, my final message, to her. My beloved wife, Muria. Please, forgive me for sending you into space alone. I didn't have much time left, and it was the only way to protect you. So thankful for the happiness that meeting you brought me. So happy for all the wonderful days we spent together. Muria. Muria, my love. I will love you forever. What does that mean? <sighs> hey, you alright? Say something! Muria. Hang in there. No, don't die on me! I want you to live. What was that about? The warp accident when we were heading for Eos. When we were thrown out of the wormhole, we sighted a vessel under attack by a Cardian on warship. Once we'd shot down the Cardian on warship, we hailed the crippled vessel and offered to rescue their crew. <laughs> but, as you just heard, we weren't able to communicate with each other properly. I would hypothesize that when Mr. Lucian's ship was attacked, the waveform generation subsystem of the ship's translator was damaged. So... We were only able to understand the message just now because of these translators? Yeah. I only realized what this message meant myself after I met Bacchus and he let me borrow a translator. Muria Tianesis, I've been searching for you ever since that incident. Finally, I'm able to pass this on, and also... I finally get to apologize. I'm sorry. So sorry I wasn't able to save someone so important to you. Lucia. Lucia. Raimi, I think she needs to be alone right now. Okay. So, let's just do what we can here.
Crow, what's going on? The exploration base on Eos is in ruins. We've got these mysterious enemies called phantoms running around. And now, all of a sudden, you've shown up here. That can't just be coincidence, right? If you're traveling with Bacchus, you must already understand a lot of this. Is it safe for me to make that assumption? I explained the details on the Cardianon mothership. Well, that saves us some time. Oh, I guess you two haven't heard about all this yet. Oh no, please don't concern yourself with me. I don't want to get you all off track. If you could give me a simple explanation later, that'll be just fine. That's fine with me too. I'm kind of like Sarah, not too good with the hard stuff. Me too. But you already know, don't you? I don't want to be left out. Me and Sari and Mary are together, Kay? Even for you, Lemel, that's a little juvenile. You've made some pretty interesting friends, Edge. Yeah. And they've all been a big help. Huh. I see. After leaving the Cardian on Mothership, I made contact with the Morphus and learned that our entire galaxy is in grave danger. The galaxy's in danger. Huh. Even a little while ago, I probably would have just laughed you off. But not anymore, I take it? Well, we've been through a lot. I can see why you abandoned the SRF's mission of exploration. No, I haven't abandoned it. I just realized there are more important things to be concerned about. My crew understands, too. We're in this together. Does this grave danger you speak of have any connection to what happened here on Eos? Indeed it does. Of course, it's not just this planet. You must have seen it on the Cardianon mothership, too. Artifacts with the power to transfigure people, even entire planets. The Grigori. The Grigori. I've been all across the galaxy, chasing them down. Then, you're here on Eos because... Yeah, exactly. It's been confirmed there's a Grigori hiding out on Eos. We were dispatched here to destroy it. Of course, it happens to be incidental to another mission. So, that meteorite fragment we collected... It was nothing more than a fragment. I imagine the Grigori itself must be located elsewhere. If only I had deduced this earlier. Hold on. Does that mean... Does that mean the Grigori changed the captain and everyone else into something like the Cardianon? No, that's not it. The Morphus discovered some new facts about the Grigori. The influence of the Grigori on objects around them doesn't stop with aberrant evolution. They absorb information from people, machines, everything. Then they process that information to produce inorganic constructs, replicated ad infinitum. Those phantom ships and soldiers that you fought, that's how they were created. So the Grigori and the Phantoms are linked. Indeed. They absorb information and replicate it? You mean? Afraid so. The exploration base was destroyed by Phantoms. And the original information for those Phantoms came from... The SRF ships that came to Eos, and their crews. <laughs> their information must have been scanned when they were investigating the Grigori. Damn it! What the hell are these Grigori? Why would they... Why would they do something like that? I have no idea. But I do know there are steps we have to take to make sure these tragedies aren't repeated. Too many lives were sacrificed. What have I... What have I been doing? Why 
wasn't I with them? Why couldn't I protect them? My brethren were being threatened by the Grigori, and I, I didn't do anything to help. That's right, you're Eldarian. There's something... I will explain. Aramat, are you sure? I am. Aramat, sir. You're with the Eldarian military, correct? Why didn't you protect the facility, sir? The military was in charge of security. There is no more military. Huh? Actually, there are no more Eldarian organizations of any kind. Our brethren are aboard emigration ships in space. Emigration ships? To where do they emigrate? I didn't think there were any planets ready for colonization yet. What other choice do a homeless vagrant people have? Homeless? Vagrant? What? What are you... What do you mean? What's happened on Eldar? Our home is gone. It's all space dust now. Nothing more, and nothing less. This is... a joke, right? Please. Listen up, lad. You need to know what happened. Everything. No. Don't. Don't tell me. I don't... I don't want to know! Our sun suddenly turned into a red giant, advancing the day of Eldar's destruction by a century. A decision to evacuate the planet was made. But it was then that the Phantom ships appeared. This was no coincidence. The Phantoms induced our sun to go giant early. They had set a twofold trap to ensure Eldar's destruction. so that as many of our brethren as possible might escape. And yet... saved by this man, Crow, and so I'm here today. That's a lie. It has to be. Everything. It's all lies. You must be lying. Keep your head, lad. <gasps> you may have lost your home, but if you're still an Eldarian, do not lose your pride along with it. Faze, listen. Your people haven't been destroyed. As luck would have it, Gagan had returned to Eldar, and he directed an evacuation. What? Commander Gagan is... alive? 
I won't tell you not to grieve for your lost home and comrades. But don't give up. As long as those Eldarians are out there, there are still things you have to do. Yes. I'm all right now. Thank you, Limmel. <sighs> so, what are you going to do now, Crow? Get rid of the Grigori on this planet, of course. And protect the Eldarian refugee ships. What? My Eldarian brethren are here? Yeah, they're with the Aquila, orbiting Eos. Yes? What? Understood. I'll be back as soon as I can. And tell them to get out of there as fast as possible. Got it? I screwed up. Too careless. Did something happen? That was from the Aquila. Apparently, the refugee fleet is under attack by phantom ships. What did you say? I'm going back up there to take command. I have to ensure their safety before we can think about the Grigori. Roger that. Crow, you protect the Eldarians. We'll get rid of the Grigori. Edge? The Eldarians absolutely must be protected. But we can't just leave the Grigori here. So, we'll take care of it. You know there's no turning back. I know. I'm prepared. <laughs> All right. I'll leave it to you. Aramat, go with Edge. You know where the Grigori is too, right? If that is your decision, I have no objections. I guess... this is goodbye again. Aw, oh, come on. We have the same objective. We'll see each other soon enough. If you believe in me as much as you say you do, go to EN2. Find out how to save the galaxy. All right. <clears throat> Take care of things down here, Aramat. Right. Hold it. You're going to help those people? Yeah, I am. So I'm afraid I can't let you kill me yet. <sighs> it's a fact that I wasn't able to save your husband. You have the right to do whatever you want with me. But for now, I need you to wait. Please. You really are a fool. Huh? Jumping into the jaws of death for people you don't even know? Come now. Only a fool would do such a thing. Miria. Well, it looks like you win, boy. It never had anything to do with winning or losing. I just believed in my friend. Leave the boy and his friends to me. I'll take care of them for you. This is my and Lucian's thanks to you. Thank you. Come on, people. We're moving. Please, wait.
What is it, Faze? Edge, I have to apologize to you. I promised I'd stay with you no matter what. But hearing about my brethren in crisis, I... Inside, I... Listen to me, FaZe. When that Earth from another dimension was destroyed, I completely lost my way. But you know who it was that helped me find it again? My friends. Edge. So believe me, I know how precious friends are. I'm not going to try to stop you. But... Faze, don't forget about us. We're here. We're your friends, too. Thank you, Edge. So long, Faze. Be careful out there. We shall meet you and Mr. Crow again on EN2. You better not get lost, okay? Take care of yourself, Faze. Do your best. Wouldn't want to let Crow upstage you. Lad. <sighs> this... this is the Souls. Control unit. Take it with you. I appreciate it. Well then, farewell everyone. Do you want me to stay with you that badly? Well, if you admit this cloak suits me, I might consider it. But... it looks really bad on you, Kay. I'm sorry to hear that, Limmel. Lim. Thank you, again. I will save my brethren, no matter what the cost, even if it means losing my own life. <laughs>